Hey guys, what are you up to today? And in one of my class courses, I show you um, about TypeScript, how it works and stuff. And this video, um, it is related to that class course, which basically we learn how to uh, generate the documentations uh, for TypeScript projects uh, using uh, type docs. And without further ado, let's now get started. Okay, so first let's try to install TypeScript onto the machine. So this is the command that we can use. So let's now copy this command and going back to this uh, empty folder called types doc and i'm going to click on this to uh, open up the terminal and next what i'm going to do is to basically just paste the command here we are going to install this as the dev dependency and now let's try to install it okay so here you can see we have the package log.json and inside this file you can see that we have the um, TypeScript install which is um, currently running on the dev which you can see dev equal to uh, true and next thing that you will need to run is to type out the command which is npxt uh, sc dash dash init so this command will generate the typescript.json file and here this is the uh, tsconfig or the typescript config file um, .json and these are the uh, default option that come with this uh, installation using this command npxt uh, sc dash dash init next let's create a new file i will call this one as index.ts so this is the typescript file and inside this file so first let me create a new function so let me just um, call this as my sum and this will take two parameters so first one will be uh, a except the uh, number type and this is b also except number type and this will return the a plus b so to use this function i will need to uh, call it so this will be my sum and I need to provide the number as the parameter so for example let's just say A uh, I will uh, provide it as uh, 10 and B here it will be uh, 20 so when we run this it will generate or give us the um, 30 as the result so for this let's just quickly save it so let me create another function alright so what you see right here this is similar to the above right here instead this one does contain um, the other parameter but this one it is uh, optional and it return as the number type so when we want to start using it we can just uh, use this equal to and this is the parameter that we need to provide and then it return as uh, num1 plus num2 and when we want to call the function similar to the above one here we just need to provide the number so just keep in mind that this one here this is optional where we start uh, using this uh, question mark all right and if you watch my um, typescript class course you can also see that these are the function that i got from my uh, previous class course okay so next here i want to create a new class so i will call this as um, class uh, greeter uh, and at the same time i want to mention that uh, we haven't really uh, looked into the type doc yet so after finishing this one here i will need to uh, install the type doc and now let me just uh, quickly create this new class i will call this as uh, greeter and here inside this we have the uh, public function so let me try to call this um, function as greet and this one um, it just uh, show this to the um, text here so just say hi guys all right so down here let's just um, declare a variable called username and here we have the uh, a string for type and then this equal to let's just assign this let's just call this as jack and down here we have the public um, let's create uh, a new function so for this function let's just call this as grid um, 
new user and it take uh, one parameter which is the uh, username and accepting this as the uh, type string and then we can start using this dot uh, username equal to uh, username so for this username here it's basically coming from here and this one it will return this dot username okay um, so now let's start uh, using this so to start using this let's just uh, assign this as a, a const uh, variable let's just call this as uh, g or stand for a grid then we start using this class so this will be new uh, gritter and down here we can just use g dot grid like that so this one um, it referring to this class here and I haven't really called this class yet so to call this class you can do something like g dot grid new user and you can also provide the um, parameter let's just say uh, whatever name that you can think of let's just say John like that and for this one here this is basically the uh, default value right Okay, so here this is the official website of Type Docs, and when you scroll down a bit, you can see that this is the command that we will need to install. So you can also click on the um, installation guide right here as well. And now uh, let's take a look here. You can see that this is the local installation. Uh, we can install this as the uh, dot, um, dot, dot save dot, uh, dev. This is installing as the dev dependency and you can also run this command here uh, to see whether the type doc has been uh, successfully installed and also check out the version as well and when i scroll down a little bit more you can see that this is the um, tsconfig.json uh, file and seem like we have to also provide the type doc option as well so um, this one here this is the a file that we need to point to which is the index.ts um, and the out here this is the um, folder that it will uh, install the file into this uh, folder so let's just um, copy this one first and going back to the uh, ts.config and down here right here just paste it here and don't forget to also uh, add a comma um, so it would look like this and this one uh, we don't actually need the uh, prefix here because uh, we don't install it in the um, source folder right we only have this uh, index.ts and this is the output okay so quickly save that and try to uh, grab the uh, command so right here let's just copy this going back and try to install this as the dev dependency and this is the um, type doc that we need to install okay so now it is installed and next let's just run the npx type um, docs so this will check for the uh, version okay so now you can see that we have um, successfully install it which is running on uh, 0.21.5 which is the version of the type doc and now we can start writing the command on top of each uh, function so let's just start with this one here it will be and you can also see that um, it automatically generate the uh, parameter which is the uh, param a and b and also uh, it produce the uh, return as well so right here I can just start um, saying this uh, function return the sum of two numbers and for the uh, param1 I can also say that um, this is the uh, first number and this is the um, second number just like that and return this uh, will return a total of two or return a sum of two uh, number okay so just like that and next one here um, this will be the uh, second function 
next here um, I will need to do similar thing which is uh, let's just say this function return the sum of three number and one number is optional and this will return a total of two numbers or the sum of two numbers and if you notice you can also see that um, for this function here this is using ES6 the arrow function and this is the ES5 which is using the keyword uh, function and the return uh, here right so now um, for the next one let's just um, create this one as well so this will be um, this class let's just say this class create new let's just call this as customer and down here this will be this function print out hi guys and how about this one this is the variable let's just keep it like that and next one this will be the uh, function so you can see it auto generate um, the uh, parameter and also the return here as well so let's just call this one as uh, this uh, function or function uh, to greet a new user and this uh, parameter here uh, basically the name of a new user and it return a new username like that so yep um, it seemed to look uh, fine to me let's try to um, generate the uh, documentation okay so to um, generate the documentation you can just um, type the command here so it will be npx type doc dash dash out and this is the uh, folder uh, name so let's just uh, hit enter and as seen you can see that we have a new folder uh, created and inside this folder we have a um, few files so let's try to uh, open up this uh, file here so it will be modules um, dot html I open this uh, with the live server or you can just double click on the uh, file itself as well so uh, live server it is just the uh, extensions of the uh, Visual Studio code and here you can see that we have the documentation uh, generated here we have the uh, classes uh, which is the uh, greeter we have the variable which is uh, called uh, G here and this is the functions that we also uh, created which is the first one here is the uh, called uh, total and this is my thumb and um, right here we have the same thing and for the variable you can see we have the constants uh, which is uh, called G uh, equal to something and also it defined this in uh, the uh, line number as well and for the function here we have the calculate total uh, which is um, Define in the line 19 and it also tell us the function um, the return a sum of three number and uh, one number is optional so this is the uh, command or the description that we uh, created or they provided and for the uh, parameter you can see that it classified this into a different section we have the parameter and this is optional um, it return right uh, very useful and uh, for the other one here the uh, my sum it just um, tell us the sum of two number parameter and it return as well and now let me try to click into um, the class here so let's just uh, click on the uh, class called uh, greeter and here you can see we have the uh, index uh, the constructor uh, the uh, property name uh, which is username and the method right and the constructor again I return this and this is the uh, property which is called um, a username uh, that I define the default to uh, check and this is the um, method which is saying uh, the first one here it just print out a uh, hi guy and this is um, the greet new users 
the function to read new users with the parameter uh, and this is the description of that and also we return uh, as the uh, new uh, username which uh, we also defined it earlier as well so let me try to click on the constructor it just uh, basically goes down here right and it return greeter when I click on that uh, it will just go back to the uh, class uh, greeter okay so what about uh, if I click on the uh, my uh, calculate total again it just um, link me to um, this one here and this is the uh, my thumb so everything uh, is uh, easily find and well documented and also I can just search for any things as well so let's just say I search for uh, username you can see that it just come up with the uh, greeter username right this is the um, property and there's a lot of things that um, you can do with this say for example if um, this is public or this is protected this is uh, related to the class right we can just uh, filter it out here as well and yep guys so this is how we install uh, type doc and also how to implement it with function that we defined and I would suggest that you go watch my TypeScript class course first uh, before coming to this one so that you can easily uh, understand about uh, different type and how it works right before coming to the uh, type docs here and yep I think that is uh, pretty much it for this class course um, let me know if you have any questions also like share and subscribe to the channel to see uh, more content just like this one until then see you guys in the next video